Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm back with another 24 hour thoughts episode um, and this one is for It Chapter 2. I just got back home from, from watching it, I thought it was pretty good, kind of disappointing. Um, as you can see I'm wearing my Pennywise t-shirt, felt like I had to put something on that showed how much I actually liked the first one because I really enjoyed it. I thought it was I thought it was really good, but the second one, yeah, disappointed me slightly. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll start with the positives. I thought that the casting was absolutely superb. I thought every single one of the Losers Club as children and our adult counterparts looked like exactly the same, <laughs> apart from Ben, obviously, but. There was enough similarities in the faces for me to actually feel like I recognised them. Um, the the casting of all of them. I mean, Eddie was probably my favourite casting. I thought that was the absolute closest you could have possibly gotten um, to being the exact same adult, uh, exact same person just as an adult. Yeah, I, I felt it, it was really well done in that sense. Uh, it needs to be said though that uh, Bill Skarsgård's performance as Pennywise was absolutely on point. That guy is perfect casting for that part and I really think that they nailed that part as well. So props to the casting team for that because they really did pull out the bag. Another positive for the film I would say would be the special effects that they had. Like the first one, the special effects were fantastic. They managed to use lighting and obviously some CGI involved in there as well, but there were certain scenes where the lighting was really good and it you didn't feel like the whole thing was in darkness, which a lot of horror films decide to do now, is just have everything dark and you can barely see what's going on. I felt that they were quite good at actually just showing you what they wanted to show you, whether that be showing you the uh, spider head thing or the zombie in the basement and the effects for Pennywise the, you know the when he opens his mouth and he's got the additional rows of teeth and stuff like that it's still looks terrifying absolutely terrifying yeah I felt I felt there would the special effects were just really good I mean it's kind of due to the time you know it's 2019 we've seen incredible special effects and these sort of films really need to, to do them because there's certain things that they're just not going to be able to do with prosthetics and models and dummies and, you know, all of those things um, that they can do with CGI. So, yeah, another positive was that. On to the things I wasn't so sure about. <sighs> the plot itself didn't really lend it to itself to a particularly exciting film until probably the final act. It felt like two acts of the first act of a film. It was long and drawn out. I mean, there was a couple of times in the film in the cinema where I thought this is taking too long to get to where it needs to be. When they were all collecting their tokens was one of the parts where you know each specific set piece of them coming across Pennywise in some form was good but for each one they did this sort of gradual build up of fear in the audience and when you do that once or twice it's pretty good but when you're doing it sort of six times it's a uh, I just felt it was too much, wasted a bit too much time in the film. The film could have been shorter, um, more concise. I realised that they felt that they had to do this, um, you know, gradually and give everyone a, a fair slice of the pie, for, uh, so to speak, um, for screen time. But there are certain stories that we just don't need to see as long as we ended up seeing and that leads into the, the the worst thing about the film is the pacing issues. The the whole lead up to the final act is pretty slow and they take their time and I don't mind when uh, horror films take their time and gradually build up 
Um, but the problem was they didn't seem to gradually build up to the finale. They seemed to go, you know, each situation it would it would be slow, 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 jump up and then right back down and then slow again and then jump up, jump back down in terms of the pacing until the final act where it pretty much goes balls to the wall for the whole thing, which is pretty good. I, I did enjoy the final act um, in a sort of mindless sense. I felt that the, the character's progression or sort of story arcs each um, are pretty well realised over the two films. I was, was pretty chuffed with the way that they did that because all of the characters are likeable. So on top of the... Um, the Losers Club have in there six stories. You also got the the follow up story of the bully from the first one, who's still, still sporting a mullet. Um, but he spent a long time in a mental asylum for the murder of his dad, and he was happy to see the red balloon, um, back. Kind of like the audience, maybe I don't know. Got to love that balloon, um, but yeah, he. <sighs> very plain empty character and I feel like they could have made him noticeably more complex um, in the film if they just spent more time on him but he just seemed to take the very first opportunity he was like I want to kill everyone and it's just sort of it's boring for a villain to be like that but it's, thankfully he wasn't the only villain and he definitely wasn't the main one so that story could be wrapped up in a very few very few number of scenes and uh, right back to the Pennywise action which is really, that's why we're there isn't it? It's not for any bully versus losers club stuff it's for Pennywise v <laughs> losers club um, yeah the, a couple of complaints small complaints are, are just things like why the, why the what was the point in the tokens? Like, I know that they were to be sacrificed, but, like, why was each token really that important to the person, i.e. it makes sense for Bill with the um, paper boat. It makes sense for Bev with the postcard. But, like, the, the token for playing Street Fighter is just... I mean, that is, that is odd. That is real odd. And then, I can kind of get the, the inhaler, but <laughs> it didn't really feel like the inhaler that he got or that he pulled out was, uh, was a new one. <laughs> it just felt like the inhaler that he was using as an adult. And he's just like, hey, here's my inhaler, guys. <laughs> Let's chuck that in. Um, obviously, there was a scene where he went to the counter and he picked stuff up, but then he went downstairs and he didn't seem to... Uh, you know, that that scene downstairs with Pennywise basically felt like a distraction from the token. Um, and he kind of forgot about the token because of what happened with Pennywise with him because he choked him. He looked as if he was going to get the best of him. Um, so at the end of that scene, you're like, oh, he, he almost killed him. Rather than oh he got his token, <laughs> um, so yeah I was I was surprised at that. Um, yeah I mean it was it was good it was it was an okay film. It felt too long, and it felt like the pacing was off. But I would say that I enjoyed the film. I would say it was a pretty good time in spite of its issues, rather than being a bad time with some good things. I think it just teeters on the positive side rather than going over towards the negative side. So for that reason, overall positive review, not going to change the world of cinema um, and probably a slightly disappointing end to, uh, to the remake of It. So those are my thoughts on the film, but I want to know what you guys think. So if you can let me know down below whether you liked the film, whether you agree that the pacing issues um, were a, a big negative to the film, and if there's anything that I missed um, that you feel that needs spoken about, then let me know. And if you liked this video and you want to see more reviews, hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, hit the like button as well, please. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.